Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Shaggy Turtle vlog. The second one, in fact. And today, we've got some exciting stuff to talk about. Ah, oh, yes. I finally went to my first Comic-Con. Well, what did I do at this Comic-Con? Well, that's what the footage you're going to be seeing in a little bit is from. But first off, I know that some of you might wonder, did I buy anything? Yes. I bought, I bought stuff. Starting with these posters you can see back here. This is for Trigon, one of my favorite. It, it, it's an awesome show. Totally recommend it. Uh, I actually have some other stuff I bought, but that'll be for a different vlog because I didn't buy that at the Comic Con per se. But anyway, the other thing I bought is this. Which, uh, yeah, sort it online. Uh, I have mixed opinions on that show. On the other hand, my favorite character was seen on from season two, and this is kind of a, it's kind of a pun type poster about her. It's shiny seen on. It, I was like walking through one of the halls, which you will see shortly, I assume, and I saw this booth, and this booth had several awesome anime pictures that were drawn by this one lady, and um. Holy crap. They were good. So good, in fact, that among other things that I picked up the credentials for, I actually got some uh, credentials to link people to her stuff, both with, like, subtitles and stuff, because I know you can't read that because my light is shining directly on it, making it look like a white blur. But, uh, Penguin Attack Studios. Future Me will be putting subtitles in there-ish? That's a good spot, I guess. I don't know. Uh, anyway. But yeah, there's other things that I will be linking to because there was a lot of cool stuff in there. That poster is probably the most expensive thing I've bought the entire time we were here. We were there. That. Um, anyway. That was about 15 bucks. The Trigon poster was about 4 bucks. And there were two other things I bought. First off, uh, I didn't really display it in my, uh, display shelf. I have, I have an extensive Boba Fett collection. Well, not extensive. It's it's small, but it's definitely a collection. I definitely collect Boba Fett stuff. I can, I can show that in a video sometime. It's like five items, I guess. It's not a lot, but when I was a kid, I loved Boba Fett. And, uh, yeah. So, for about five bucks, I picked up this tiny little Slave 1 model, which, not counting the uh, Slave 1 Transformer that I tend to keep in its box. A box that is technically open, but I keep it in it all the same. But, uh, yeah. Boba Fett Transformer, but aside from that, I don't really have any, like, Slave 1 merchandise. So, you know, this kind of adds to the Boba Fett collection. Eh. <laughs> I just saw it and was figured, well, I'm at the Comic-Con, might as well buy something. Because that was the first thing I bought. Little did I know that later on the same day, before I even got those, because this I got on the second day, because, uh, I went, I saw it the first day and I loved it. There's so much I want to talk about that. Oh, man. I really want to talk about that poster, but we'll save that for a little bit. The other thing I bought is this. So, for those of you who do not recognize this uh, awesome toy from the 80s, it's the Yellow Lion from Voltron. And uh, the Yellow Lion was always my favorite. Chunk was... I don't know why Chunk was my favorite, but he still is. Maybe I just relate to him. Anyway, so this is like an actual die cast toy, and one of the coolest things about it, I don't know if like all the Voltron toys had this sticker on the bottom, or if this is an actual notification that it is in fact the uh, Japanese variant, but if, but, but I looked on the uh, bottom here, I don't know if you can see that, there's a sticker that says Go Lion, which is the name of the Japanese series. Which, that's intriguing. I wonder if this is like the Japanese toy and not the American one, but they're essentially the same thing, I believe. The main thing about the American one is that they removed, like, all the accessories, so no swords, no missiles, no none of that stuff, because parents drew a big hissy fit about it, I guess. I'm never actually staring into the camera lens. I'm always staring into the screen, because I'm recording with an iPad. There's really not much to say. I mostly just wanted to have a preface, preface for the uh, vlog that's about to ensue, because I recorded some stuff there on my phone, so it's not great quality, but, uh, yeah, you just make do with what you got. 
there were a lot of cool cosplayers there, so that's there's gonna be a lot of that. Yeah, so there's really much to say other than uh Go Lion Toy. Freaking cool. I wonder if I'll ever actually collect all these. It might be too expensive, I don't know, but uh I have having just the yellow one because he was my favorite. And that'll be on my display shelf, which might be in future vlogs, I don't know. I'm thinking I'll go back and forth between this and the display shelf that was in my last Christmas video. I actually recently rearranged my room to accommodate for all of this. So, yeah. We have a lot more space in because of the way I rearranged everything. Parents helped a little. But I've been rambling on for too long. Let's get on to that vlog. We're all freezing to death. We're all gonna die. Hunter, what I said was, my toes are gonna be so cold in a few minutes, I'll be able to break them off and snack on them. <laughs> what is wrong with you, you zombie? <laughs> So, your thoughts on Comic Con thus far? I'm going to punch you if you keep doing this. That's kind of cool. Superman didn't need a shield. <laughs> Hide behind my cape. <laughs> I'll, I'll just fly away. Thanks for giving this to me. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you very much. I can say, listen, this is, this is not a gift. Fine. Autographed by the entire cast. That's cool. There it is. That's cool. That's very cool. That was a heck of a movie. All right. Yeah, that was that was really good. Um, we are at the Learner Theater. Is that what it is? Yeah, in Elkhart, Indiana, and this is my very first Comic Con. We already did some stuff before, but I didn't want to film all that much. But now we're going right through the hall, and I'm going to switch over so you can see the stuff because, good lord, this stuff is cool. Yeah, that one mine. Well, then, uh, there you go. Right here we got our, my friend Devin Brewer. He's in a band, actually. People might know him. Five dollars. Uh, it's not is, my sort of stuff, but it's really good. Thank you. I. This is our friend Sam too, right here. Uh, our friend Austin. And then we got one more. He was here earlier. What's his name? Uh, Bradley. Bradley. Close. Bradley. Mind you, if you get yourself, turn down the music in the vlog so I can hear the uh, stuff and put their names on screen. All right, cool, cool. And that's Sam I see there. Okay, so Sam. The ones that have the signatures on them will be easy to remember because you can see them in the video. Yeah. I'm hoping I can get this all stu this done, but this is going to be at least a week's worth of editing because of all the stuff I got. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> Well, you start looking at us like I gotta see what happens next, and then you're all like, "Ah!" Your nose. That's what. It's Hunter and Peoples. I don't know what that is. Always going up the city steps. There's a lot of people here. I'm getting squished. I have managed to get myself alone in the Comic Con, which is awesome. Uh, I met a friend, so that was really cool. Um, and we are actually going to just walk around and see stuff. I can finally vlog in peace. <laughs> Thank you.
I kinda want that. Captain America is boring it. Here's where the plug can you see. Go down there, you show them the head. So all the When you find your say yes, Sarah. I kind of want that, but it's 50 bucks. And my parents probably wouldn't have me having a bikini clad in the character. I want to buy all the things. Going down the stairs. Still don't know what that is. This is the Penguin Attack Studios vendor. Uh, yeah, I know it's a little blurry, but this stuff is like really impressive. So, hey, uh, if you need a better look at them, you can go look at our DeviantArt page. But it's totally cool, and I would say you should buy something. I mean, I might be a little biased because this poster is freaking awesome. But you know, whatever. Stay tuned for part two when all the cosplay stuff's gonna happen. You know? Shaggy Turtle Studios. If you liked it, liked it. If you didn't like it, you did just a dislike button for that. Although, why you dislike a video about an awesome Comic Con? Shut up, YouTube! <sighs> Freaking updates all the time. Anyway, notifications. Bleh! Wow, I'm rambling on here, aren't I? You know the drill by now. Leave comments. I don't care if it's nice or nasty. Seriously, I don't. And if you want to help the channel grow, you can always subscribe or share the video around with your friends to show off this awesome Comic Con. Seriously, Hall of Heroes, Elkhart, Comic Con, uh, do it again next year, please. Please. This is Shaggy Turtle Video. Blah, 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 blah. Shaggy Turtle Video, what? Shaggy Turtle Studios. And like it or not, I will be back in the next video. Bye bye.